DIY pulse oximeter. Program explanation. I have developed DIY pulse oximeter that can be made with cheap and general parts and a 3D printer. More information is available on this channel and my web page. Please see the description of this video. In this video, I will explain the program for this DIY pulse oximeter in the order of the list. Okay, let's get started. First, parameter adjustment and writing. Download the pulse oximeter program and open it in the Arduino IDE. Adjust some parameters. At first, set the I2C address of the LCD. Most of I2C communication module of character LCD uses the expander such as PCF8574 and PCF8574A. Its address list of PCF8574 and PCF8574A. I use this LCD. The expander chip of this module is PCF8574A. All addresses wiring are open. These addresses wiring are pulled up, so address value is high when open and low when short. Thus, this LCD I2C address is 3F. Please rewrite LCD address according to your LCD. CRUS is the time constant of the charging circuit, in microseconds. CT1 is 1 microfarad, so into the value of RT1 directly. Its I.O. pin settings. When assembling with the Model A board or Universal board, wire according to this pin number. The Model B board is pre-wired. Its serial communication settings. Set 0 when not using serial communication, 1 when capturing data with a serial monitor, and 2 when displaying a graph on a serial plotter. These three items are noise reduction parameters. TMMAN is the number of points to calculate the moving average of TM. 2 or 3 is a reasonable value. Kill hum noise synchronizes the measurement cycle with a commercial power source to reduce hum noise. 0 is disables, 1 is enables. Commercial power source freak is commercial power frequency. Please set according to your region. SPO2 hysteresis width and HR hysteresis width are hysteresis widths. The hysteresis value is an integer type, and if the difference between the calculated value and the hysteresis value is larger than the hysteresis width, the hysteresis value is replaced with the rounded of calculated value. When hysteresis width is zero, the hysteresis value is always rounded of calculated value. After setting parameters, write program to Arduino Nano. If you have not installed the Liquid Crystal I2C.H library, install it. Search Liquid Crystal I2C.H from Tools, Manage Libraries. Installed by Frank the Brabender Library. Set the board and serial port. Select Arduino Nano from Tools, Board. Select a processor from Tools, Processor. Select a value for the processor that matches the board you use. There are two types of bootloaders on the Atmega 328P. 
If you don't know which type you have, try both. If the processor is different, writing will fail. Connect the Arduino Nano and select the target port from Tools Serial Port. Press the arrow to write to the microcomputer. If you get some error, check the content of the error by Google search. That's all. From here, I will explain this program. All variables are defined as global variables. Although global variable is nuisance in the general programming, the RAM of Arduino is about one millionth of that of a PC, so it is easier to manage with global variables. When you compile the program, you can see the usage of global variables. I will explain some typical variables. HRVAL is 4 point moving average of the heart rate. HR hysteresis is the heart rate with hysteresis. SPO2 VAL is 4 point moving average of the SPO2. SPO2 hysteresis is the SPO2 with hysteresis. Count is the count of measurements. Count HR is the count of pulse. Beta is the calculated value of transmitted light. In the case of at mega 328p, there is about 1 kilobyte left in the variable. From here is a description of the function. Its setup function and loop function. Loop function will be introduced later. Functions used here are grouped and wrote below. Here are devices functions. Here are configure functions. Here are display functions. Here are calculate functions. It is a small program with about 500 lines in all. I introduce only the get tm function here. This function measures tm. In the TMI color array, I equals 1 to 3 are variables for substituting measured values, and I equals 4 is the variable for substituting the moving average of TM. Color is a LED color variable where 0 is infrared and 1 is red. In general pulse oximeter principle, we introduced the method to determine the period by beta, but this program uses the infrared TM to determine the period. In order to calculate delta TM, TM prev is overwritten with the previous infrared measurement value. Measure hour and red. Synchronize with commercial power here. Start sweeping the color LED. Assign the start time of TM. Repeat until TMI is measure N. Read the status of the D8 pin. Since digital read is slow, this program read registry directly and calculate by bitwise operation. If D8 value is 1, calculate TM and exit this loop. Turn off the LED and discharge the CR charging circuit. Assign the moving average of past TMMA and points into TM4 color. TM is measured like this. Go back to the loop function. This flowchart is an example of SPO2 calculation introduced in general pulse oximeter principle. Calculate SPO2 according to this flow. First, measure TM with get TM function. Determine if the TM measurement is range over. If TM is range over, add 1 to count range over. 
If count range over is 10 or less, return to get TM. If count range over is 10, set count range over to 100. Display hyphen on the LCD. If IVRO is 1, reset counters. If count range over is 100 or more, assign 100 to count range over to prevent overflow. Turn on the red LED for 10 milliseconds and wait 1 second. Go back to get TM. It's the process when TM is range over. If TM is inside of the range, assign 0 to count range over. Calculate beta. Check the period end from TM. If TM is the end of the period, calculate heart rate and spoke 2. Add 1 to the HR counter. Resets the maximum and minimum values of beta. Output the result. Add 1 to the counter. Go back to get TM. It's the processing when TM is inside the range. SPO2 and heart rate are calculated like this. Finally, I will add to this program so that BZ becomes high if SPO2 is 90 or less. This process is inserted at the end of the period. If SPO2 val is 90 or less, set BZ port to 1. Otherwise set it to 0. In this case, the buzzer will sound even at startup so that. Add the condition that the HR counter is 4 or more. Complete it. This is the program explanation of this DIY pulse oximeter. For more information, please see the description of this video. Thank you for watching. I would be happy if you could share this video. Also, please like and subscribe.